sure you're wondering, is this suit really from Burlington? <laughs> and it is. Let me tell you something about our premier coat factory in this country. <laughs> Burlington Coat Factory. I think their headquarters are in Burlington, Vermont. If I'm... If I researched correctly, <laughs> which I did, did a lot of research. Because when you're looking for a suit to wear, not to look at, but to put on and use in a context like this. You want to find a suit that moves with you, not against you. As you can see, at Burlington, they all move with the man and not against him. So maybe you're going to a bar mitzvah tomorrow. Or... <laughs> I suppose all the New Year's parties are over by this point. It's about 16 days into 2015. <laughs> Happy New Year, by the way. Happy belated New Year. I hope that it was a fine uh, New Year that you had. I hope that when the clock struck 12 that um, you thought about a great many things and um, that you continued thinking after that. <laughs> I think, therefore, I am. Therefore, I am. It's wonderful to be here <laughs> on a Friday night. Let me tell you something about Friday night. Friday nights are very special to me as an entertainer, as an entertainment professional, as a person who's been in this business since last Friday. <laughs> Friday night is a very important night for me. Let me tell you something about myself, which you may not know. My name is Ike, and uh, I grew up in Plano, Texas. Now that's outside of Dallas, the big D. <laughs> Actually more restaurants per capita in Dallas than New York. I learned that from Southern Methodist University when they were courting me back when I was younger. But I said no. I don't care about your restaurants. <laughs> I care to become an actor, and so I shall go to teach school of the arts in New York University. <laughs> and there I shall train, and I shall study, and I shall learn how to speak like an actor. I was growing up in the Plano, on Friday night. When you're up, when, let me tell you something about the generation that I'm in. Now, I was born in 1986. June 6th, 1986, that makes me a Gemini. <laughs> when I was young, I went to school and school was rough, very rough, damn rough in that part of the country, damn rough, too damn rough sometimes. <laughs> Surprised they even brought it up here tonight because it's damn rough, damn rough. <laughs> Tear just might come to my eye, it's so goddamn rough. <laughs> It was damn rough, and uh, Friday nights meant no school on Saturday. And I would turn on the television, and I'd flip through, but I eventually landed on one network. That was ABC, the ABC television network. And they had a programming block on Friday called TGIF when I was growing up, when I was coming up. Their Friday night block was called TGIF everything I know about entertainment. 
I learned from watching that blog. <laughs> One of the great catchphrases, I think, of late, uh, late 20th century American televised entertainment, did I do that? <laughs> from Family Matters. If you haven't seen Family Matters, <laughs> let me tell you a bit about it. Family Matters followed a predominantly African American cast playing a predominantly African American family. <laughs> And they had a neighbor. Now this neighbor was, in the beginning, not featured heavily in the show, much like, to a different generation, uh, uh, the Fonz, initially not featured a lot. Uh, this neighbor was uh, Steve Urkel. And as the show progressed, season by season, Urkel, with that catchphrase, did I do that? Said after he had done something. <laughs> Which made me laugh. Lost my train of thought. 